Uh, hello, hello, hello. Good morning. This is uh, the first of a hopefully sort of fairly short series of short videos uh, offering some top tips for starting out if you are just beginning playing uh, Puzzle Combat. Now, my first tip, and this is a key tip, is tip number one. Tip number one. Get yourself into a good alliance. Um, now, when you start the game, once you've done the sort of basic intro levels, you can join an alliance. And it's worth being in any alliance which is good. Uh, look for an active alliance. So if I go into my current alliance, uh, you can see this is my alliance. It's got Canada Dry. I'm not Canadian, I admit. You've got most of the players are at least reasonably active. They were active 22 hours ago active 11 hours ago you know you want to watch out for alliances where people haven't been active for days because if you've got an alliance like that they probably are not going to be hitting the titans and that's the key thing to be to be going for is get yourself into an alliance so you can start hitting titans now titans come up as you can see we're working on a three star one it also gives me access to my titan chest up here in the top corner i just pressed on that so you can get lots of extra bits and bobs and useful things by killing titans so every time you kill a titan you get something useful often some gold which is quite handy for summoning and stuff like that later on and also you can start filling up your titan chest titan hitting is fun you get here is your titan you can see i've got a camo striker uh what i tend to do is slightly color stack against the titan um only slightly to be fair because uh, it's a green titan, uh, what do we call it, uh, blue is weakest against it, so I will take two reds, albeit that my reds are still a bit, little bit weak, but I'll take this fella, because he's quite nice, um, two reds, and then the other three colours, it gives me a lot more power uh, hitting the titans, so that the red tiles do a lot more damage, and the blue tiles, which would do less damage, reduced damage, don't hit it anyway. So that's called colour stacking. Sometimes players do more than, you know, you can get up to two, three of the same, of different colours. Uh, a lot to be said for that. Watch out for your Titan's weak spots. So try and hit the weak spot. This is exactly the same as in Empires and Puzzles, which is quite, you know, quite a popular link to this game. Um, be hitting the Titans as much as you can. If you're in an alliance, you know, respect them by hitting the, show them some respect sorry by hitting the titans because that's kind of the whole point in being in an alliance if you aren't interested in hitting the titans uh, like daily then you're probably better off becoming a merc um or thinking about whether you can you know drift around help people out that kind of thing a lot to be said for just trying to hit as titan as often as you can as you can see with this one his uh, armor is down now because of my one hero and now my my tiles are doing a lot more damage which is the beauty of color stacking so now my red tiles are all doing about 150 damage each, which, you know, at this stage of the game is, is pretty good. Um, if I was doing that kind of damage on Empires and Puzzles, I'd be a little bit sad, if I'm honest. But uh, for this game, that's a pretty good start. Um, going to keep his shield down because that means that everybody does more damage to him. Um, Victoria there, I love Victoria, she's got some really good attacks. Uh, just generally, you know, just keep things moving, ticking over, boom, 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 boom. This is looking like a reasonable attack, should give me a nice high score, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Uh, oh, that was a bit of a pointless move. Um, there we go, so that was my attack. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Titan is a little bit frazzled from doing that. I got 8,457, 8, which is a reasonable score uh, at this stage in the game, for me anyway, so like I say, personal best. And I can oop, click on the Titan just to check how active my alliance is, so that I can see that of them, at the moment, 14 players have hit and 14 haven't. Now, I would hope that the number by the time the titan is defeated uh, will be closer to sort of 25. You really want to be in an alliance where most people are hitting the titans. Now this titan has still got quite a long time to go and I know that my alliance are uh, largely based in Canada so for them it is currently night time. So I'm hoping that by the time the titan is actually slain um, it will have more, um, more hits to it than that. 
Now the last Titan we had, I can always flick back, I can see that 26 out of 28 players hit it. And that's what you want to be looking at, really. I mean, at this stage, you, you're unlikely to, there don't seem to be many alliances where I think all 30 players are hitting, but you do want one where at least the vast majority of players are taking part, uh, because an inactive alliance will slowly destroy you, and it takes half the fun out of the game. Uh, it's nice to be in an inactive alliance because you've got people to talk to. Uh, when I was first playing Empires and Puzzles, I joined an inactive alliance, and uh, it started off with about nine players who were active, and it gradually got less and less and less, and it took me way too long to realise I needed to get out of that alliance. Don't stick around in an alliance which is dying on its feet. Get yourself off into a new alliance where you can, uh, where you're actually benefiting from being in an alliance. Otherwise, an alliance is as pointless as the little wavy man. Hello, little wavy man. Oh, they salute in this one. I do beg your pardon. So yes, that is tip number one. Tip number one: get into a decent alliance. And if your alliance is getting inactive, get out. Find yourself a better alliance, which will be supporting you, and uh, which will be defeating Titans and taking you forward. If you want to play the game with any degree of seriousness, you have to be in a, in a half-decent alliance at this stage. Later on, you can consider becoming a Merc and that kind of thing, but early on in the game, you want to be getting as many items and things as you can. Anyway, so that's Farmer Ben's top tip for today. Uh, once again, I wish death to come swiftly to, swiftly to your enemies. Um, may you all have a wonderful weekend. Take care. Farmer Ben signing off. Bye!